if it wasn't for them, I don't know if we'd be here, and I don't think the guy would be here. That Fort Myers Shores woman says her neighbor is the reason she and her husband are alive tonight. An SUV flipped, causing a fire that then spread to their home. They were sound asleep, and not even the crash could wake them up early Monday morning. But thankfully, their neighbor heard it, saw the flames, and ran out to save them, and the man trapped inside the burning SUV. Only ABC 7's Gage Golding is speaking with that neighbor and the couple tonight. He's joining us live outside the home along 5th Street. Now, Gage, how did the SUV end up next to their home in the first place? Yeah, that's a great question. Somehow that driver managed to leave the asphalt and hit, count them, not one, not two, but three trees, including this big palm here that you can see kind of just sheared right off the base. And after that, the vehicle didn't stop, right? It kind of flipped in the air, turned onto its side, and landed here in the grass. You can see some of that charred area here during that car fire. And that fire extended to this home. You see a little bit of this kind of corner of the home charred up. The people inside here, though, they say this could have been a lot worse if it weren't for their light sleeping neighbors. I'm usually a light sleeper. But neither Dennis Keene or his wife woke up when this happened. It took their neighbor nearly busting down their front door to come out of their slumber. She said, hurry up and get out here. The house is on fire. Outside, the neighbor's husband, Gary, was doing whatever he could to keep the burning vehicle at bay. So I grabbed my hose, ran, turned it on, and just started spraying the front. With a hose in one hand and 911 on the line in the other, the fire grew. But this whole time, no one knew someone was still inside. I seen an arm was kind of like at this angle. That's the most god-awful thing you could hear is somebody to tell you that they're burning up. I'm on fire. I'm hurting bad. Help get me out of here. The driver managed to crawl away from the roaring fire to the back of the SUV. The two sheriff's deputies, you know, they finally got a hold of him and drug his ass over there. Here's the driver, a 33-year-old man from Lehigh Acres who's covered in burns. He was burned bad. And when they lifted his arm, his skin just kind of... The Florida Highway Patrol says the driver was taken to the hospital. Now, if you ask the Keens, they'll tell you the only reason that guy and their house is still here is because their neighbors next door. My house would have been really on fire, and he would be dead. I'm no hero. I did what I had to do. Now this neighborhood wants the county to be the hero by making Fifth Street safer with speed bumps or even signs. I want to see something done, you know, before somebody does get killed. This isn't the first time. But it's the worst time. Yeah, and hopefully the last time, right? Talk about being in the right place at the right time. This damage could have been significantly worse if those neighbors just weren't awake or awoken by that crash. And I want to show you how intense this fire really was. We're on the outside kind of looking in. And take a look at these blinds right here. They actually melted towards the top. You can kind of see how they're wavy there. On the other side of the glass, just to give you an idea of exactly how intense that fire was. Now, who's going to fix all this, right? The homeowners, they're still working to find out if that driver had insurance that will help them out with all of this. Now, FHP also tells me the person behind the wheel, they got cited for careless driving. I'm reporting in Fort Myers Shores. Gage Golding, ABC 7.